Hello and welcome. My name is Logan Penny, and I am here to teach you how to publish a map inside of UEFN. This is current as of version 28.10. I have a map inside of Unreal Engine 5, Lost Ruins by Larta Studios, and I am going to convert that quickly into a UEFN map, and then we are going to publish it together. Now this video is not going to go over the process of migration, but I am migrating all the assets from this current level that you see on screen inside of a brand new project inside of UEFN. And here we are inside UEFN with that level, very, very similar to the one inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now I'm saving the level and making all the assets private. That does take some time the first time you're doing this in any project. So that's loading up there now. I've only added a team and inventory setting device, a HUD messenger device, and a HUD controller device, along with the player spawn. And I gave the player a flashlight and a grapple gun to jump around the ruins. After the uploading project is complete, we are launching the project and assets have all checked out. I'm going to clear that and click on the project tab at the top beside our mode selection and you'll see under project size launch memory calculation is currently grayed out that is because we actually have to have an instance of the game run and then close before we are able to launch that memory calculation without launching the memory calculation you will not be able to publish your map that is a crucial step to the publishing process now we've loaded into our game and up pops in the Explore the Lost Ruins. That's the HUD message device that I'd set up. And we have the flashlight and the character can run around and explore the ruins. And obviously your game is going to have the gameplay mechanics and all the devices and or verse code, etc. But this is a demonstration on publication, not on gameplay mechanics and setting up the devices. This is where you would do your playtesting, and when you're finished, hit escape, end the game, and then we are going to be brought back into the Fortnite creative edit mode within the Fortnite game. I'm tabbing back over to UEFN, and now when I click on the project button, you can see that I'm able to launch our memory calculation. I am going to add some version notes, and I'm just going to say here, this is our Lost Ruins demo on publication, and then I am going to hit upload, and we will then be brought to the creator portal. You can have that on by default, or you can uh, untick it. Any changes that you have made at this time, you're going to have to save those. Uh, you will not be able to proceed without saving them. It will then upload your private version. And you can see at the top here, we are within our project size. And we are within our memory calculation uh, test result. That came back uh, positive from the game. Now inside of UEFN, we have our private version. I've opened up the creator portal and I've hit publish. We're going to fill out the game details, such as the title of the game, the description, any island tags, and the how to play the game, the instructions. Those three bullet points are what the user sees on the loading screen when they are entering into your game. So we'll call this the uh, Lost Ruins Rampage. And I think I go back and rename it to the Haunted Lost Ruins. And then we'll fill out the island tags, as I mentioned, and the how to play. And then we can hit next and go into our rating section. Inside the rating section, you're going to be prompted to enter your email. And then when you hit begin questionnaire, it will take you to another browser page. You're going to continue to the iARC browser page and fill in the questionnaire. We are making a game and I am not doing any blood or gore. There's no fear. There's no mature content here. Any of the themes listed below, I am not implementing. So it's a hard no on all of them. There's no language and there's no substances, etc. No crude humor. And if you go and read these yourself when you're entering this, just make sure you are filling it out properly. Now I've verified all that and then we are a game and now I'm hitting next and there we go. It is E for everyone because anyone can play this. It's not scary at all. It's a little dark, but it's not scary. So there you go. And I'm going to hit finish. We are brought back to our creator portal to the next section of your publishing. And we're going to go into the promotional media. This is where you want to upload a landscape thumbnail, a 1080 one by one thumbnail, as well as a lobby thumbnail, which is 2048 by 1024. 
Now, the easiest way to do this, and why I like working in Unreal Engine 5 as well as UEFN, is I'm going to go in and utilize Unreal Engine 5's high-resolution screenshot, and I'm going to take a screenshot of the exact same level that I have inside of UEFN, and I'm going to bring that over to Photoshop and utilize it as my promotional material. I've created my three thumbnails, 1920 by 1080, 1080 by 1080. Our lobby background image needs to be 2048 by 1024, and you might need to try a few times until you get the one that you like uh, matching up the floor angle with your characters. Then we're going to credit any of our assets that we're using. In here, I use the Lost Ruins by Alerta Studio, and it's a personal license. I'm going to hit continue. And then next, and finally, visibility. I'm not going to have this as a public. This is an unlisted, as this is just a demo to showcase to you how to publish everything from start to finish. Hitting publish, and in a moment, you're going to see that we have sent our, our publication off for submission. I'm going to reload, and then we can see here our map is now in review, and it will take a few hours to get back to you. And we have our map code, and we can come back here and see whether we have successfully passed review, and whether we can play our map and everybody else can play the map, or if we need to make some changes and then resubmit for review again. It is common to have uh, resubmission, so do not worry if you fail submission the first try. There we go, not even two hours later, and the map has already been approved. Granted, it was a very simple map and did not have anything uh, that should have warranted any kind of flags. So it was easily approved, and if that's the kind of map you have, then you can expect that it will also be easily approved. I have my unlisted uh, map here. Nobody can see it unless you enter that code. You can enter the code if you like. Uh, there's nothing really to it. You can jump around the map if you choose to. And here's my thumbnail that we created together. And you can see the Haunted Lost Ruins and explore the ruins, run from the ghosts. I haven't put any ghosts in yet, but I, I might. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to select that, hit select. And here's our lobby background. And I'm going to hit play the game. And we are going to load into the haunted ruins. You can see it has my username and the code as well as the version number at the top. Explore the lost ruins. And we are live. Look at our flashlight. What is this? Oh, I'm exploring. Ooh, it's lost in here. I'm lost. Where am I? I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions on publishing your map, then please reach out to me in the comments section or on Twitter or X under Hollows Woodsman. Take care and bye now.